Hello folks, today I'm going to teach you how to use Blender's uh, video sequence editor, which is a non-linear editor, as it's known in a lot of the other uh, video editing community. Um, Blender is an open source tool that's available on many platforms, so it's on Windows and Mac, or if you're like me and only run a Linux machine, it uh, it's available on Linux too. Um, a few things to begin here. What you want to do is you want to go down to this area, mouse down into this area, and hit F10. That'll bring up your um, render dialog. Make sure that do sequence is checked. All right, it's activated. And you want to set it to FFmpeg. You want to make sure that all of your videos have the same uh, same resolution and the same frame rate, okay? So my most of my movies are 640 by 480. Most of them are 25 frames per second. So you want to make sure that you set the the resolution to whatever the the resolution that you've set all of your videos clips at, and the frame rate to whatever you've set the uh, the frame rate of all of your videos at, right? And you can you can adjust frame rate in tools like AVI DMOX or Virtual Dub or Mencoder or FFmpeg. Um, however, you want to make sure that it's just important that you get them all set to the same frame rate and same resolution. All right, and then you set it up like that. So choose FFmpeg, set your resolution, set your frame rate. I like to set things for MPEG-4 encoding, so I click on the video tab and then I choose MPEG-4. You have lots of options in here, the defaults are actually pretty good. Make sure that you multiplex your audio, otherwise your video won't have any sound, and you definitely want your video to have sound. I like to choose MP3. Alright, so we've set the audio to multiplex MP3, we've set the video to MPEG-4, and we've set the format to FFmpeg here. We've ch we've checked do sequence, alright? And then you want to give it an output area. Um, you know. So that's its base file name. It'll append the proper extension and it'll tell you how many frames it exported. See, you can set how many frames it'll actually render to. Um, right down here with the start and end. Okay, that's pretty basic normal Blender stuff. <coughs> Pardon me. So you're ready to start editing a video together with all of your video clips and images and things like that. The important step here is to go to this area right here and choose Video Sequence Editor. See it right there, Video Sequence Editor. Okay, and that brings up this screen, and that's your Video Sequence Editor screen. Now, I like to have a preview running, so what I'll do is go right to this little line that's right here, and uh, I'll right-click and choose Split Area. See, and I drag that upwards. And it's made another video sequence editor screen, but we want to set that one to image preview. Now as we're editing our video, we'll get an image preview over here. This little green line lets you choose which frame, see how the frames update there? Which frame you're viewing over there, okay? There's nothing, there's no video or images added yet, so we're not going to see anything obviously over here in the in the preview. So, the first thing we do is we add, uh, we, hit, we check here, we have these add. Um, dialog. You've got movie and audio, movie, images, scene, and that throws in a rendered scene, uh, audio from the hard drive and, and audio from the RAM. And you also have a number of effects you can add. We're gonna not going to mess with any of the effects or plugins today. We're just going to leave those alone. Um, but the first step is to we'll just add a movie with some audio, okay? Uh, a lot of my stuff's on my, in a folder on my desktop. So we'll go there to my movies. And we'll find a movie that I want to add. Um, let's see. I like this one. We'll add that. Now you'll see here the number is increasing and decreasing. That is where your video is actually starting in the movie. And I'm going to drop it right on to zero. There we go. So now if you hold down control and middle click, you can kind of zoom in and out, which really helps when uh, editing because a lot of times you do need to zoom in and out. You can also middle click and hold and drag the screen around like that, which helps a lot. All right, so as you can see, this is what happened here. Uh, the frame rate in this movie is more than 25. So my images are actually extending beyond <coughs> the audio. And that's why it's really important that you get your frame rates right. Um, it's not really important for this tutorial. Um, as you can see over here, the the video preview is updating. Uh, it's really nice and nifty. As I move the green the green line around, the video preview updates. Now you can also add just a movie, 
which helps a lot. Sometimes you just want to add just a movie. You don't want the sound from it or there isn't any sound. You just do much the same thing. There it is. Now if I do this, before, see, before that area, it's rendering the movie on the bottom. But after that, it starts rendering the movie at the top. Okay? So the ones above are always on top. It's like building layers of a movie. You can also add images <clears throat> which I like to do from time to time. Um, let's find a good one here. It's an image I... You can toss that like right there. If you right click here on this little tiny arrow, you can drag that image out. See, in much the same way, that'll render over top of the two movies that are there. This is a really great way to have little pop-ups uh, during your movies without disrupting your main your main video okay now what we do is also we want to just add some some other audio and we'll just go into my music and grab one of my audio packages um, we'll grab goofing on guitar and toss that in there and what will happen here is see how this is above that these both of these audio streams will be mixed together into a single audio stream on your final on your final uh, results you're finding a render so you can you can layer audio that way it's really great for adding sound effects um clangs or bangs or punches because then you can position them just so uh in the video and it'll work out really well so you've got your layers of video and layers of audio and images and, and you're ready to actually start rendering and that's really not hard at all um you know you just go down here to your uh to the render dialog that we opened earlier and you just double check things, you know, resolution is right, frame rate's right, um, you know, video tab is set, audio tab is set. Um, we're, we're going there. Now, the render button only renders a single frame. So it, it only renders a single frame. It's kind of like a preview. Just like that. But we want to render an animation. Now, you'll notice it only goes up to frame 250 down here. That's not really what we want. We want to render all the way to the end of our movie, which happens to be, we just drag the little green bar along to the end of our movie. See? See how it's lined up at the end of our movie now? It happens to be frame 1721. 1721. Now, I like to render a little past the end because it's better to have too much than too little. So I'll go like 1725, all right? So we're going to start at 1 and go to 1725. Now, you could also render a portion of this. Like if you wanted to render the middle only, you would just find those frame numbers by dragging the green bar around and enter those here. But we're going to try to render the whole thing. So you've got your frame set, and it's all good. And then you click Anim. And it'll start rendering the animation, as you can see right here. And it'll just keep going until it gets to the end. Blah, da, da. And I'll probably stop it a little early, um, just because there's no reason to uh, to show you the entire render. I'm just going to go ahead and escape there. All right, so I stopped it early, but normally we wouldn't stop it early. We'd let it render all the way through. It's as easy as it is. It's it re it's really that easy to render a video, uh, to do video sequence editing and nonlinear editing. Um, I hope this has helped a few people, and uh, leave me a comment if it has. And uh, I hope to see you guys again soon. Catch you later. Bye.